So, Ann and Paddy, $6,663, and um, Paddy, you nearly weren't there to pick it up. <laughs> you, some little problem with a passport, I hear, on the way to Singapore. Any comments? Will we see you in Johannesburg with a shiny new one, or what? I have the shiny new one, it's got the last 10 years, so it won't happen again. <laughs> Paddy arrived at the airport to fly to Singapore to find he hadn't got six months left on his passport and so they said no. So um, that must have been, you must have thought you were going to be on your own on stage, I think. I was more worried about being on my own all the way to Singapore. <laughs> but you know what, it's amazing what this business does for you. And we talk a lot about personal development. And I know going back before I came into Forever Living, the thought of having to travel that distance on my own, I just said, I'm out of here. <laughs> but I just said, I have to do it. And Paddy said, yeah, you do. <laughs> so you just got on with it, and it was a lovely flight. <laughs> I had two seats all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> the guy didn't turn up in the seat next to you. I can't believe that. <laughs> so I made the most of that. And uh, you just stay alert. And when you get there, you say, I did it again. <laughs> so it was an experience. So. This is your fifth check in a row, consistent each year with your, your business. How did it feel fifth time going across the stage? Um, I'm a very honest person, and I have to be honest and tell you, this check happened without any extra effort. It literally happened by doing my business the way I should have done it. I didn't put any extra time or hours or anything into it. Um, it's just as Bob went through it earlier today, you know, you bring new people in, you get new CCs, uh, you have to do X amount of CCs, and you just follow doing your business and the rest falls into place. And this year it just happened, finished by the end of October, um, I think it was early May when I really started, and it made me realise I need a kick. <laughs> So this year, I'm putting more time and effort, and it's going to be bigger and better. We look forward to that. Um, before you join Forever, if you'd gone to your boss at the end of the year and said, give us 6,000 as a bonus, what do you think the chances would have been? Well, he'd have said, I know you're lovely. <laughs> because I always have to say, the managing director I worked with was an absolutely lovely man. And I often think, could I have fired him? Well, I did indiscreetly. <laughs> He thought it took was taking the summer off and I'll be back in September, which never happened. That was eight years ago. <laughs> um, not a chance that this would ever happen like this. I mean, this is, it's exactly what it says, a bonus, a big bonus. It's a holiday. And a holiday, of course. Um, and I look at this business and I think of what it has given us and where it has brought me especially. I know Paddy traveled a lot throughout the world. But um, the personal development, and I always say to new people, look on it as a forever academy. Because the personal development alone in this company, you couldn't buy it. You could go through college, and we've spent a fortune on educating our kids. Um, but I feel sometimes I have more personal development than they have. <laughs> I know they wouldn't like to hear that. Uh, and I got it really through forever living. And uh, Bob talked today about this not interfering with what you're currently doing. Um, and that is true because I really was looking for the yellow bottles of gel. And I'm very grateful to uh, Lisa Walsh when she said you should go along and have a look at the business opportunity, which I did. And I had a traditional business at one point in my life. It was a spa supermarket. And Really all I saw that evening when I looked at this business was the profit margin. In a supermarket, your profit margin is quite low. It's really volume and plus the overheads. And I looked at this and I realized there was more people out there than me looking for these products. And if I only did the retail, I was going to have a few hundred a euro a month extra. And that was okay too. Uh, Bob also talked about going out to your car if you're in work and making a few phone calls. I did that, um, maybe three or four times in the week. And the worst thing I could see in the rear mirror was somebody coming out, out to join me. <laughs> I 
I think they come out because they felt sorry for me. I was out there all alone, <laughs> squeezing in a few little phone calls for my business. And that's how I built this part-time, really, alongside uh, my job. And uh, Lisa came along to our home, and she went through the plan again, and uh, she said, what do you want? And I said, well, why would I take 35% when I can have 48? I said, I want 48. Then she said, uh, well, how long, you know, how much time are you going to put in? And I asked, how long did it take you to get there? <laughs> so she said, four months, right? So I said, okay, I'll do it in four months. Now she did look at me, but it happened. So we're really, it's about believing your ability to achieve what you want to achieve. And this business gives you an opportunity that no other business or company can give you. So why would you not do it? Why not grab it with both hands and just run with it? It's, it's amazing. And I mean, I have to say, I, I don't kill myself doing this, but I do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little bit of push. I do it and I enjoy doing it and I love working with people and I love the fact that from this time, the beginning of each year to the end of the year, you never know who else is going to come into your life. And I find that is so exciting. And the friends you make, I'm looking at Louise and Aileen and a lot of us that have made friends here. Um, and we look out for each other in many ways. We support each other and we encourage each other. Uh, it's, it's a big family, and I can understand Patty and Pauling, although they're loaded. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can understand why they're still doing this business. They love it. So, and it is exactly a way of life that you just can't give up. So I want to say a big thank you from Patty and myself to all of our team. Many of her are not here today because of communions. Um, and I would like to thank Mary Welby, who's not here today, which is very unusual. Her husband's off in California um, on business, and uh, Mary will not drive to Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> so she was my 600 leg, and I'm very grateful to her for that. And I want to tell you, team members, not looking at anybody in particular, <laughs> next year we are going to have you guys on stage. And there will be no excuses. So a big thank you to all. Thank you to Bob. Because we are very conscious of the fact that without you, our team members, you are very, very special. We could not be standing here with this. We could not have been in Singapore receiving this check. So thank you from the bottom of our heart. And Bob, thank you so much for being an amazing managing director and how you've brought our country along. We're all very grateful to you. Thank you to our staff and head office. They're just amazing. Um, they help us so much, and they're always there for us. So go for it. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Paddy. Over $6,000, Anne and Paddy Carton. Congratulations.